My grandmother used to sell opioids. And so, the thumb man who cheated his diet outside Good Springs cheated his diet once again. After the Battle of London, many thought it was the push Richard needed to finally change once and for all. At first, tourists arrived in masses, showing support. Eventually, some got bored. Others left when Richard's true nature inevitably started to show once more. In the new world of Trailer 101, team bullying continued. Pepsi was spilled, and many laughed and enjoyed, just as they had in the old world. Because wings, wings never changes. <clears throat> Blue ribbon ice cream, like, like, I've been mean, trying to, like, repair everything that the last week has happened other than being fat i'm always probably gonna be fat but like you know i tried to clean up the office a little bit shave myself up tried to clean the house because we kind of let the house go a little bit this last week because me and kelly have been basically sick i'm hoping like we're supposed to be shooting a uh, episode of uh the locale podcast today unless something goes wrong because <clears throat> i know they want us to they want us to talk about the moist critical video on boogie because like i looked at the moist critical video on boogie and um i noticed it had three million views i'm like how the fuck does a does this guy's like opinion of the of the documentary have more views than the documentary it's like that's just some that's just some power why does boogie always play the victim i mean um <clears throat> the um the reason boogie always plays the victim right <clears throat> it is what it is but regardless boogie is the way he is from trauma honestly like boogie is a fun like charismatic person like he loves it negative he loves it positive boogie loves when people talk about him and he's a probably a good bit good bit of a narcissist right like i can't even say he's a little bit like like boogie got a lot of narcissism right so boogie loves attention no matter how he gets it the only problem with that is Boogie built his whole brand on being like the fence-sitting nice guy that controlled all content that came out there and then he started streaming and once he started streaming it kind of fell down and Boogie said something to me on, on the uh, documentary and I'm um, I want to ask him about it because he he I said yo why don't you stream to try to make some more money and he said and I know why he doesn't do it he doesn't do it because he doesn't want the negative outlook come with it but the same effect is like why not sell it now while it still has value then he discovered the n-word as I never see Boogie as a person that wants to like just say the n-word I'm sure he does stuff that to be shocking right but like I, like, Boogie's by no means only use me Blade. Hey, no. Well, if Boogie would have listened to me, he'd still have $650,000. A couple years ago, when everybody's like, get Bitcoin this, NFT that, Bitcoin this, NFT that. Neapolitan. It's Blue Ribbon. It's the only brand that my local food line was selling in gallon form. <clears throat> like, I, my, when, I, when I first got sick, my, my throat was really, really sore. And I wanted something that would, like, coat my throat. And, like, ice cream is great for that. <clears throat> okay. Well, I enjoy it, and it's never killed me. Are you saying, like, Becky as in, like, Beck from, like, Blade? Like, the, the unattractive things about, uh, like, Blade's Beck is uh, how she treats her kids and how she abandons her kids. But that's just, that's usually just signs of, like, a person dealing with some sort of addiction. Like, I don't know a lot about her, but just some of the actions that she's taken screams that she's, like, goes to the methadone clinic like a lot of it screams heroin <clears throat> but she's a, she's an addict of some sort um like physically she's not ugly uh, she's weathered but she's weathered because she's obviously been on drugs at some point in her life but like um i wouldn't say she's ugly i mean like like if you if you consider like beck ugly what I, I have some women to show you like your your perception of beauty can't just be the photoshop girls and like Sports Illustrated. Dude, I could, this is simple. You go to Google and you type in ugly women and you hit enter and then you click this images bar. And like, it's unfair a lot of this because um, most of this is just some type of like, either they've had some type of traumatic injury or they've had, or they or they have some kind of like physical disability. Or some of it's just Photoshop, right? I don't want to show it on stream, but just put ugly women in Google. Like, I don't want to show, like, like here's the thing, right? I don't want to show ugly women, because I looked, I looked it up on Google. And like, a lot of that, that popped up was just people with some type of physical disability, right? And like, if I put that up there, somebody will be like, oh, look, Wayne's is making fun of disabled people. As a person that's dealt with... 
you might you might not know this about me pyrotechnics but like my grandmother used to sell opioids and she did it her entire life and i've seen every type of like pain pill heroin addict you can see and i'm not trying to say beck is on heroin but she's walking towards the rainbow bridge on that on, on that on that area <clears throat> like she's 100 percent on something i'd bet the house on it no i would not leave kelly for beck kelly's a whole different level of woman than beck is first off i couldn't respect a woman that does some of the things with her children like beck does like if i'm with a woman that has kids and she ready to to pawn her kids off on like her parents or like throw them away to go hang out on a RV with a bunch of dudes sitting there drinking and smoking drugs. No, that that's that's not that's not the play at all. Like that's not what make that's not the the foundation of a good woman. Gotta be real. Getting a guy ice cream from a sore throat instead of cough drops is the fattest thing I've heard in a minute. Hey, it, it hits two birds with one stone. It lets me be fat, and it fixes the throat. <clears throat> Speaking of drugs, I put a I put a thing out there on Twitter. I don't know how well it did on Twitter, but or X. But um, <clears throat> Tyson Fury is on cocaine again. Cause like all like like the signs are starting to show, and like people are disagreeing with me because just the Deontay Wilder fight set him up for life, right? Like Tyson Fury at this point in his life has generational wealth. Like he got paid fifty million for the ten, the Francis Ngannou fight. He's he, he slaughtered to make two hundred million coming up in the Usyk um, unification bout, right? There's obviously going to be another Francis Nagano fight back on the back end of it. And But my issue with all this is, why is Tyson Fury being so hard up, right? When you have a cr amassed half a billion dollars, how, why are you still, like, avoiding fights because of, like, per small percentages on the ticket? Like, Tyson Fury didn't want to take the Usyk fight because Usyk wanted 60-40, and Tyson won at 70-30, right? You realize that Usyk has the majority of the belt, right? Tyson's the lineal heavyweight champion, and he also has the WBC belt, but Usyk has all the other ones. Like, why does Usyk have to take 30% where you get 70%? Like, it, to me, it seems like he's blowing money, and he's doing it on drugs. The reason Tyson Fury did so poorly against Francis Nagano is because he was in withdrawals from cocaine, for like the last week and a half to try so he could test clean to have the fight. He also went into the fight at his heaviest. So his camp couldn't have been that well. He said he had a 12-week camp, but he came in heavier than he did on the last um, Wilder fight. Like, all the signs saying that he's slipping back into drugs. How's the chair holding up? Can we get a squeak test? <clears throat> Fury looked in his best shape. No, 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 no. Fury looked in his best shape in the second Wilder fight. Like, the second Wilder fight, Deontay Wilder didn't have a chance. He got mauled. Like, like he could have beat, you know, Muhammad Ali and, and George Foreman on the same night in their prime. Like, he went in there looking good. Third fight, he looked good too, but he didn't look as sharp as he did in the second fight. And I'm going to adjust that to, you know, Wilder making adjustments because Wilder is a heavyweight champion, right? So you can't take anything from Wilder. But, like... Since he fought Deontay Wilder, who did he fought? Derek Chisora on the back end of his career. Dillian White. Like he fought, he's fought nobody. Like not to say Derek Chisora, or D Derek Chisora, or Dillian White aren't good people. Like, like, Wham! I delete streams, Bell. Like I don't delete them all. Just ones where like, like I deleted the last one because of like the dude that was saying the N word all the time in the Rainbow Session. I just don't want that on my channel. Other beats Anthony Joshua too. Oh, dude. Well, thank, damn, Max. Thank you for the hundred dollars. All right, guys, that's the stream.